What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another reacting to your Turtle Tanks video. If you didn't see the first one in this series, definitely check that out. I talk a little bit more about what we're doing. Again, obviously I'm no expert. The info that I'm sharing with you, if your tank happens to be in here, is just my personal opinion and based on my own personal experience. You are welcome to take it or leave it how you will. So with that, make sure the subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell, and let's dive into some of these tanks. Okay, so first up, we've got a tank from Hayden in Virginia. This is a 20 gallon long with an African side neck turtle. Looking at this, I would say that you have a good start, although there's definitely some improvements that could be made here. First off, I do see you have your basking lights, so it's great that you're on top of that. The biggest thing here for me is, first of all, the size of the tank, and then also the water level. I don't have too much experience with side necks, so maybe they're a species that prefers shallower water, but given that this tank is only 20 gallons, so about 12 inches high, that's just not a lot of water volume for your turtles to be swimming around in. And I know that side necks are not necessarily small turtles either, so I think it would definitely appreciate more space. Another thing is that I see pretty much the only larger decoration you have in there is that overarching log, which is great. But first concern is that if the turtle is big enough it could actually get stuck in there and then also that's really the only place it could go to hide if it wanted to i think that it would definitely benefit from some more decorations and some more swimming space the basking spot is just a rock which works but again it doesn't allow you to fill the tank all the way up and potentially the turtle depending on the size may not be able to get all the way dry on there you're off to a good start I see that you have river rocks in there instead of like gravel, so that's very very good that you have that. But again, size would be something I would really take a look at here. This next tank is from Jack in Indiana. It is a 40 gallon, home to a painted turtle with some feeder fish to play with her. First off, I think that the bow front is really fun and I love the skull and the sand that you have there on the bottom. The above tank basking area is just like the one I actually have behind me there, so that's really great. A couple of things that I do notice is that First off, there's not too much light inside the tank. Now, I know that it can be difficult to put a light on a tank, especially if you have an above tank basking area, but you could even like, kind of you can see what I have here is kind of just jutting across the side, just so that it at least gets light to one side of the tank, because that really helps with your turtle's photo period. So basically the time the lights are on and off. You want them to have a clear photo period and a cycle of night and day. So if possible, I would add some lights onto this tank. And I see that you do have at least one basking light now again as I've mentioned in the last episode if it only has one bulb I'll always ask if that is a bulb that produces both heat and UVB because those are both extremely crucial to the health of the turtle so really turtles need both a heat bulb and a UVB bulb or something that provides both of those things and then also I do notice that there's not too many tall decorations within the tank I really do advocate having a good amount of decorations just to enrich your turtle in fact I was so inspired by some of your tanks and I was looking at my I decided to get some more wood. Now this wood has sunk but it's not totally arranged how I want it yet but I figured I would show you guys like even I added some more wood to my tank because I realized you know he probably would like more to explore more stuff to block his line of sight but overall I think this is a pretty good setup thank you Jack. Alright next up is this really really cool setup from Jonathan in Florida. This, this is 40 gallon breeder and this turtle looks to be pretty small so this tank size looks about suitable from my perspective. I think you did a great job decorating it definitely looks more natural. It looks like you even have some cool little ledge on the side of the tank there. You did a really beautiful beautiful job decorating it. Sawyer seems to be loving it. And the above tank basking area is also very well done with the egg crate. And then you also have two tetra filters on there, which is great. Filtration is really important. So I'm glad you're doubling down on that. There's just a couple things I would say with this setup. Something you could do is just add something in the middle to kind of fill in that space because there's a lot of empty space in the middle. It doesn't look like you have an actual light above the whole tank other than what you have on the basking area. So I think that by illuminating this tank, it kind of showcase your work a little bit better but otherwise i think this is a beautiful setup great job jonathan all right next up this tank is from b in new york this is her 75 gallon tank with her two red-eared sliders namely holmes and watson love the names detective she has a fx4 canister filter running on this and then a diy above tank basking area 
with two UVB lights. You didn't mention heat, so again, I'm gonna point that out. The basking area itself, though, is awesome. I love how you put those little chairs in there. And the tank itself, I love the bubbles on the bottom, and then your driftwood also looks really cool. I also love how you have the black background on there. I'm not sure if that's painted. You also mentioned that you have some ping pong balls and golf balls in there for them to play with, and I think that's awesome that you're trying to provide them with some enrichment. Now, again, like some of the other tanks, Decorations, guys. Use decorations. I'm probably gonna say it a lot in this video. A lot of us think, oh, the turtle will be fine, and we're just like, we're only putting a small amount of decorations in there. At least that's something I've noticed in my experience is that Hoku is way more comfortable when he has other stuff in the tank. So decorations, definitely just, just do it. And also about you having two turtles, I've made a video about this before. I also mentioned this in the previous React video. Personally, I don't necessarily advocate for keeping turtles together um, and just recommend that you keep a really close eye and have a large enough tank so that they can get away from each other and kind of establish territory because they're not necessarily social creatures. They can oftentimes view each other's competition. So that's just like briefly my thoughts on that, but I've done a longer video about it up here. If it's working out, then that's great. I just look at that with a lot of caution to make sure that both turtles stay healthy and happy and don't fight with each other. This next one is from Xavier in India. This is a readier slider setup and I don't believe he said the size. And this is what he said in his message. I've realized that I ain't providing much to my turtles that they deserve, but I'll surely change my setup. So Xavier has already recognized that this is not the most ideal setup. So I guess looking at this tank, it's kind of a good example of what we really need to be looking out for when we're setting up our turtle tanks. So first thing I see, you don't really have a basking area. You want the turtle to get all the way dry. So definitely I would recommend using one of those to your advantage. Also I see on the bottom, you've got all kinds of colorful rocks, which definitely looks really fun but those could potentially be a hazard if the turtle eats them. Other than that, I don't really see too many decorations, so decorations are good for enrichment. Also, this tank size itself feels a little bit small for the size of your turtle. Looking at that turtle in the corner, it looks like he would definitely appreciate a lot more space. Another way that you can maximize the space you're giving your turtle is by filling the tank all the way up. I notice here that it's only filled halfway, so that's definitely something I would take a look at. I don't actually know if you have heat and UVB up here, like I've said before. Those are very, very, very important for keeping your turtle shell healthy. Now, looking at this tank, I would like to say I know that pet keeping standards in different countries can be really different. And the way that people are taught to keep turtles and the information that they're giving is not necessarily the same across the board. So not everyone's gonna say the 10 gallons per inch of shell rule. Not everyone is going to recommend you fill your tank all the way up or talk about basking areas and basking lights. So I think it's really great that you're here on my channel watching these so you can kind of get ideas at least for what my standard for turtle care is and really just trying to provide the best for the animal because these animals are relying on you for their care, relying on you for their habitat. And so if you're gonna take that responsibility, I personally believe that you should provide them with the absolute best you can and try to replicate what they would find in the wild as much as possible and just give them the space to live and be happy. So that's what I have to say about this. There's definitely a lot that could be changed and improved. And Xavier, you already mentioned in the email that this is something you're planning on doing, so I wish you the best of luck. All right, this next tank is from Mariana in the Philippines. Shout out Philippines. Woo! Okay, this is where she keeps her Malayan box turtle in the 50 gallon tank. Looking at this tank, I first gotta say that the green rim is really cool. I think it gives a really unique look to this tank. Now, to be completely honest, I don't know too much about Malayan box turtles. Um, evidently, they're semi-aquatics. 50 gallons is a great size. Your turtle doesn't look to be all that big. Looking at the second picture here, Squirtle is super duper cute. Again, you could have more decorations in here for the turtle to hang on to perhaps some driftwood or like taller fake plants for the turtle to hang on and then also seeing as the tank is outside you don't necessarily have to provide heat however one thing to keep in mind when you're keeping your turtle tank outside is that those temperatures fluctuate and you can't necessarily control that and i know in the philippines depending on where you are summers like get so 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 hot so definitely keep an eye on that temperature make sure it's not fluctuating too much i have a video about how you can keep an axolotl tank cool and kind of the same principles apply when trying to keep your tank temperature consistent and then the other thing with it being outside is yes although it may get sunlight 
if that sunlight is hitting directly the tank it can also heat up the tank very quickly which could potentially be dangerous personally i know that when i'm keeping my turtles i like to control as many variables as i can so that the setup is as consistent as possible i would still use a heat and uvb light because this looks like it may be on like a patio or something so it's not necessarily getting light all the time but those are just some of my suggestions all right this next tank is from connor in the u.s it is a 40 gallon tank for a yellow bellied slider off the bat i just love your basking area i got the same setup going here i see you have both your heat and uvb which is great you also found a way to illuminate the tank on the inside definitely appreciate that and then your background is super fun as well really the only thing i would say here that i can see visibly is that you could probably use more decorations all right this next one is from ian it is two female red-eared sliders in a 40 gallon tank they have a turtle topper which you can't really see in the picture so a couple things that i'm noticing about this setup first off I love how you have the tank filled all the way up and your basking area setup seems to be good. However, the tank itself is very bare. Now, nothing against bare bottom, that's totally fine, but I think that your turtles would appreciate having, again, decorations. And then also, I don't know how well that filter performs or what your water change schedule is. I just know personally, having used internal filters before, they couldn't really handle the amount of waste. So that's something I would take a look at if you are struggling with water quality. Another thing you mentioned is escape proofing, which is actually something even I have not gotten to with my turtle tank. One thing I was thinking about is using like egg crate or potentially like an acrylic sheet for escape proofing. And then you already mentioned that tank size is potentially something you think might be wrong with this. You said that one of your turtles is six and a half inches and the other is four and a half inches. So I would definitely say that they would very likely appreciate more swimming space, a larger tank, more time to get away from each other. Like I said previously, with cohabitating two turtles, that's a situation I approach with a lot of caution. Just keep that in mind. The more space you have in the tank, the less likely they are to fight each other or get competitive with one another. So I would definitely say bigger tank, more decorations, and potentially a better filter. And that is kind of all I can think of right now, just looking at your tank. Next up here is a 20 gallon tank for Corey's baby turtle that is about two inches. So there's a cool little DIY basking area. So it looks like you stack some rocks and then put some of that shelving liner to make a little grippy ramp. And then you said you also have a UVB bulb and a heat bulb on there, which is great. You've got some decorations in there. I would say this is a very pretty basic setup, but it looks like it definitely will work for a younger turtle. Now just definitely keep in mind as the turtle gets bigger, this is definitely a setup that's going to have to get upgraded and that basking area solution solution may not work as well for larger turtles because you'll want to fill the tank with more water versus just halfway. Again, you could also use more decorations and then personally, I don't love filters of this style. They just have never worked very well for me. So if you're having issues with water quality, that may be something you want to take a look at. But for a baby turtle, this looks like a decent setup. This next one is from Leah in Pennsylvania. This is home to a 10 year old red eared slider and this is a 60 gallon tank. First off, looking at this, I love that you've got the tank lit up, you've got a nice above tank basking area. Again, the same thing with the only one basking light. Does that provide both heat and UVB? Really, really important. And then the tank itself, a 60 gallon gallons is a pretty good size for a turtle depending on how large he is. Now I'm looking at the picture here it looks like he could probably be a good several inches so I would say that this is about sufficient. However a couple things that I'm noticing is that really there's not too many decorations in here so load that thing up with decorations definitely use them to your advantage and then also I noticed that on the bottom it looks like you may have gravel now that may be river rock correct me if i'm wrong but if it's gravel that could have the risk of impaction so if it's small enough that the turtle could eat it that would be something i would take a closer look at your turtles are really cute though thank you okay so i literally laughed out loud guys when i saw this tank because it looks exactly like koku's tank when i first got him and this turtle literally looks like hoku and you have convict cichlids in this tank, so it, it's literally the same. It's, it's so funny. So this is from Maddie in South Carolina with her Diamondback Terrapin, Seamus, and also three convict cichlids. And it's a 75 gallon tank with an above tank basking area. So again, I would say that this setup looks big enough for the size of the turtle. And I noticed that you said you only had the one lamp in the basking area, which is the halogen basking light. I don't know if that's producing both heat and UVB, but definitely take a look at that. And then also again, 
more decorations. I think your turtle would appreciate having more things inside of the aquarium. Love the convict cichlids. I hope that they're doing well with the turtle. This is literally the setup I had for Hoku and your turtle looks just like Hoku. So I think that's so funny. Great job, Maddie. Thanks for sending in your tank. This tank is a 55 gallon tank from Tommy in Virginia Beach. And it has a Diamondback Turpin, a Belize Slider, two Mississippi Map, two Mississippi Map turtles, and some African cichlids. And it definitely has one of the most interesting above tank basking areas that we've seen so far. It's a modified 10 gallon that I guess he must have taken out the bottom in order to make that into a basking area. I think that's really, really creative and great for someone who wants their basking area to look great. You did mention that you don't like cohabitating and it's because you have to consolidate before you move back to Florida. Um, and that would probably be the biggest thing I'm pointing out is that this is only a 55 gallon and you have a lot going on in here. I'm glad to hear that this is only temporary because definitely if you are keeping all of these turtles and fish in here long term, you would definitely need a larger tank. So I'm glad that you recognize that. And then again, you could use more decorations and definitely only temporary with that amount of turtles. This next tank is from Tracy in Singapore and it is an 80 gallon tank with a male red eared slider and then also a DIY basking area. The tank size is huge so that's awesome that your turtle has a lot of space to swim around again more decorations to kind of fill up that space and make your turtle more comfortable would be great i'm looking at your basking area here and think you did a great job with also escape proofing the tank one thing is that i do notice again only one basking bulb and you did say that this basking light is uvb so if that's not producing heat i would definitely add some of that up there but otherwise i think this is awesome your tank is very spacious and i think that your turtle will be very happy in this with the addition of some decorations all right next up here we got a really cool rimless tank from Natasha in Australia and it is a four foot tank for a juvenile short neck turtle. So this tank I think it looks really cool. I love the background. The basking area is unlike one I've seen before. It looks to be like suction cup so that's really cool and then it looks like you have the big hood up there and you said that that produces both heat and UVB so that's great and then you also have that decoration in there as well as the filter and heater. Again I would say could put more decorations. I feel like I'm sorry I'm repeating that literally for every tank guys but Decorations are so, so good for enriching your turtle, really making the space feel natural and making your turtle feel comfortable. So I think that would be the only thing I have to say about this. It looks like you even have it maybe even on a DIY stand. So great job with this setup, Natasha. Thank you for sending it in. All right, so only a couple more here. We've been filming for quite some time and I wanna make sure we leave some for next time, which there will definitely be more for next time. I still have some other pets that I wanna look at and then also some more turtle tanks because you guys sent in just so many different ones. So we're gonna look at probably two or three more here. This next tank is from Kiara in Texas and it is a 35 gallon tub set up with a common mud turtle. I think that tubs are really great options because they are like less expensive and you can get larger volumes. So I think that's really cool that you decided to go this route. I see you've got the filter on there. One thing I would say is that hang on filters like that like power filters don't really work as well when the water level is lower you might want to fill it up more because that can really put stress on the motor when it's trying to suck the water all the way up so that's something to keep in mind i can't really see the decorations in here so no comment on that but i do see you have your basking area with your uvb you're very resourceful in putting that mesh lid on the top so that those lights could be held there. I think overall this looks like a pretty good setup. I don't know how large your mud turtle is. If it's a juvenile, I'm assuming it's probably small, so 35 gallons. It's probably a decent size, so this is a really cool setup. Thanks for sending it in, Kiara. Next up we've got a 75 gallon with a concentric diamondback terrapin from Kevin in Ohio. It's filtered by an FX4 and then there's all kinds of, I think, brackish water fish in here. I don't know. You didn't mention if it was brackish, but there's an archer fish and a figure eight, which I believe might be brackish. Those are really cool fish that you've got in here. I love the decorations. You've done a great job with kind of filling the space all throughout. You could put more. I mean, I feel like I should probably just say it for all the tanks, just put more decorations. Um, but I think you did a really, really good job with that. And then your basking area. Your basking area looks so, so cool. It looks like you kind of used wire and then two pieces of maybe, I don't know, plywood on the side and reptile carpet on the inside. And then you have a MVB bulb, which is a mercury vapor bulb, which actually produces both heat and UVB, so you're covered there. So overall, I think you did a great job with this setup. Your turtle is so, so beautiful. So thank you for sending this in. You did a great job. Okay, so this is the last tank we'll be looking at. It's from Romani. Romani? 
Romani? You gave me a pronunciation, but you didn't tell me where the emphasis was, so I'm sorry if I got that wrong, but they're from England, and they sent in this tank that is 15 gallons for Razorback Musk Turtle Babies. And it looks to be a rimless tank, which I really like the look of rimless tanks, so that's pretty cool there. You did use gravel on the bottom, which you mentioned in your message that you realized that that was not okay. You have some decorations in there, which is really fun for your turtles to climb around in, and then you got the little basking area up top. Now, I would say that this tank, probably an okay size for baby turtles, but as they got larger, you would definitely want to look at upgrading it. And then also the same thing with cohabitating turtles, you want to provide them with more space. And then given that they're musk turtles, and not necessarily the best swimmers, you probably could have put more decorations in here. Also, I see that the light is only one light, so again, not sure if that produced both heat and UVB, and then also not sure about your filtration in here, so no comment on that. But really what I want to talk about here is that this person who sent in this tank actually ended up giving away these turtles because they realized that they were not able to look after them. And so that's, I think, a really important thing like to have the humility to know like i just i'm not doing this right and i don't have the ability or the time or the space or whatever the reason i just don't have the ability to take care of these turtles properly right now so i'm going to do what's best for them and give them to someone else it definitely takes a lot of responsibility and honesty with yourself to recognize that you are unable to take care of this animal and give it the opportunity for a better life it's a really hard thing to do so i definitely commend you on that thank you so much for sending in your tank and sharing your story so that is all the tanks we have for today another long marathon of a video if you made it this far what, what emoji shall you comment? Well, let's, let's think of an emoji. Comment the balloon emoji. That's kind of random, but just comment the balloon emoji if you watch this far so I can reply to you. Huge shout out to my patrons who help make this content possible. You guys are amazing. Helping me create content like this every single week. So thank you to my tribe over there. If you want to join the turtle tribe and support this content, you can click the link right here. There's some cool stuff like early access and I'm still, still, still trying to get to 50 patrons so that we can do some live streaming. And yeah, there's just all kinds of fun stuff over there. So you can definitely check that out if that sounds interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.